Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to edit 4K video on Windows Movie Maker. If you don't have a copy of Windows Mo Movie Maker, then look in my uh, description below and I'll have a link down there. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on Windows Movie Maker. Click on Add Photos or Videos, whichever one you want to do this time. I'm going to add a small little video and uh, you'll notice that um, at the top you'll have file click on file save movie you want to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says cut create a custom setting click on that now you this is going to be a brand new one so for my name you can put anything you want I'm going to use 4k now for the width and the height you don't need to bother with that for the bit rating you want to max it out at 135,000 frame rate whatever you want to use. I'm going to use 60, you can use 30, whatever whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever your camera shoots in. Uh, audio format, you don't have to mess with that. It's more or less just if um, if you know what you're doing then you can change that, but you're really not going to get anything but a bigger file. Now you want to go down and you want to click on save. And then this dialog box pops up. At the address bar at the top, take note of this. This will be your username App Data, Local, Microsoft, Windows Live, and Video Profile. I called mine 4K, so we'll go ahead and we'll click on um, Save there, and uh, you'll see that it will take you back to the uh, Movie Maker. Click uh, Cancel on that, and you want to go ahead and close out Windows Movie Maker because you want the, the um, changes to take effect. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll click on that and we'll close that out. You don't want to save the video so just go ahead and close it. Go down to your um, folders, click on that and uh, click on your local drive which is C from, for mine. Click on users and then your username you want to go to the top, click on App Data, and then you want to click on Local, then Microsoft, and then you want to go to the bottom where it says Windows Live. Click on Windows Live, and you'll see the folder at the bottom that says Video Profiles. Click on Video Profiles, and there is your uh, new profile, 4K. You want to go ahead and click on this. If it does not open up for you, uh, use Notepad and that will uh, work with this program. So go ahead and click on that and um, at the top you want to format it. You want to bring it all together so you'll be able to see it a lot easier. So um, click on Word Wrap and that will bring everything together where it's um, everything's in view so you'll be able to edit easier. Now you want to scroll through everything and look for where it says low 32 720p. We're going to click on the 720p and we want to change that to 2160. Low 32 equals 2160. Now right beside of it you'll see where it says high 32. Click on the 1280 and change that to 3840. Leave the quotation marks. Now you'll have low 32, 2160, high 32, 3840. Now that's 4K settings and it will work when you uh, render your video. You want to go up to the top and you want to click on file and you want to go ahead and save this. And that's after you've more or less fixed everything. And then you close it out and there you have your uh, 4K uh, profile. Go back to uh, Windows Movie Maker, click on Add Video, get your short little video, like a minute or so. It takes about a minute and a half to render a minute video, depending on your system. Go to Save Videos, hover over 4K at the top, and you'll notice that the settings are set to 2160 by 3840. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, go ahead and click on that and save your video where you, wherever you'd like to have it. 
Now I'm not going to save this because I've not done any editing or anything like that, so there's no point in uh, going any further with this. So I'm going to head and I'm going to head hit cancel on that, and uh, that should take me out of it. Once you cancel it, it'll ask you if you want to save. Hit no, and you can go ahead and close your uh, Windows Movie Maker, and um, it'll ask you again if you want to save the video that you have, and you just say no, and that's pretty much it. There's really um, nothing else you need to do. Um, just go back in, open up what video you do want to render, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe. Please share if you'd like. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.